11 grounded tips before 0.11 update. This is the official grounded tweeter and on October 6th, next week, the public test server will open again with the grounded 0.11 update. Yes, 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 yes! It will be the biggest update ever and I already set up a special live stream here on YouTube to cover the entire patch notes. If you don't want to miss this live stream, set a reminder by going to the video tab on my channel, select upcoming live streams and click on set reminder and you are done. Unless, of course, you want to do one more click to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you again, and remember, October 6, 4 p.m. Pacific Time, be ready, big stream coming, share with your friends and family, let's go! Talking about being ready, I thought about 11 things, update 0 0.11, huh? 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 Can you get it? Can you feel it? 11 things that you may not know about Grounded and will help you a bunch. To save you time, you can check the entire list on the description of this video and jump around to what most interests you. The first tip will change your game forever. Tip number one, set Gamma to 50%. What you see now is the gamma setting on 27% night time. Usually this is the setting most players go with. Everything extremely dark. What I want you to do is to increase it to 50%. Boom! This is my night time. People ask, Spy, why do you don't sleep? My answer is, I don't need it. Configure your gamma settings to 50% and nights will look like days. Tip number two, craft berry letters on jerky racks. You can craft berry letters the usual way or the smart way. To craft it in the usual way, as we see, takes three berry chunks to craft one berry letter. The smart way, and not everyone knows, takes one berry chunk to craft one berry letter. You just need to hang berry chunks on jerky racks and come back after a day or so. It is a huge change. You will have berry letters forever. Tip number three, craft crude ropes on spinning wheels. Same as the berry letters, there is the usual way and the smart way to craft crude ropes. The usual way takes three plant fibers to craft one crude rope. The smart way takes just one plant fiber to craft one crude rope. Just let them spin on the spinning wheel and soon you will be the crude rope king. Tip number four. Never use charged attack. If you don't know what charged attack is, good, it is worthless. By holding the attack button, you will deliver a stronger blow and use more stamina. But the damage difference is so small that it's not worth the charging time and the stamina lost. If you don't believe me, see it for yourself. Tip number five, keep an eye to grass movement. This tip can save your life or help you hunt. If you see or hear grass moving, open your eyes. A big creature is close to you. Wolf spiders, orb weavers, ladybugs and stink bugs will move grass while roaming. Tip number six, scout with photo mode. It's awesome to take pictures, but you can use a photo mode camera to search for creatures. 
or find things like feathers, raw science, scab schemes, you name it. Another trick is to scout things underwater. You set an angle, switch to free cam, and adjust fog density to 0%. Magic! Tip number 7. Transport pallets. This is a well-known trick, but it will always be on my list. The most efficient way to transport weed stems and grass planks. Tip number 8. Activate rock cracker mutation to shovel clay. Even though it's a rock and hammer thing, this mutation also works for shovel and clay. With the mutation deactivated, you will need 4 shovel hits to break the clay. With the mutation activated, you only need two hits. Tip number nine. Place water containers under juice boxes straws. Every now and then, juice boxes drop some juice. By placing water containers right under a straw, you can stock the juice and have the best drinks of the game always available. Tip number 10. Cook three pieces of meat on the roasting spit. Not everyone knows, but the roasting spit has space for three pieces of meat and not just one. Big opportunity to triple your cooking. Tip number 11. Set up your crafting bench like a pro. This is one of the biggest time savers of the game. Set up your crafting bench to be around all your storage chests. This way, when you need to craft something, you won't need to open chests and search for that little thing that you were missing. As you see, there are 20 nearby storage chests and space to add much more. And these were the 11 tips before the 0.11 grounded update. If you have any other useful tip, share in the comments below. Likes and channel subs are always very much appreciated. And see you guys October 6, 4 p.m. Pacific time live stream. Don't miss it.